let's talk about trad wives. Let's take a look at trad wives from a man's POV. I think it's quite inspiring. And I, in fact, I know it because I talk to people who have, who have been inspired by this idea of tradition, you know, being a trad wife. And Babe, do you really want to work? What do you want out of life? She says, I just want to be a housewife. Mm. And I'm, well, in so many words. And I'm like, good, because <laughs> that's what I like. Great. Men are happy with it. Of course they are. I'll explain some dark sides to that happiness even they don't realize in a bit. But before we get into it, you're welcome to my army of armed soldiers where we talk about the deep truths people tend to miss. To join us, hit subscribe and ring that notification bell so you don't miss another episode of a Nigeria Take with Theo. And whilst you're at it, like and share this video. My only objection really to the trad wife trend is that we're calling it a trend. And I wouldn't really call it a lifestyle either, but rather um, a system that works for us just as it has worked for the majority of families all over the world. Now this I can work with. Someone who actually proposes that the trad wife system works and has always worked. But has it? Really? On one hand, men want to take on the role of provider for their family and that's a great thing. On the other hand, this traditional system is heavily hinged on something that most people just don't possess. Virtue. The online face of trad wife will tell you herself. And I cannot stress this enough. You have to marry the right man. If you marry a guy who in your dating life, he showed abusive and control tendencies, this is a disaster waiting to happen because when you become financially dependent on this man, he will abuse all of that. Let's face it, even if men will never admit this, having another person solely dependent on you financially corrupts the mind. It gives a false sense of overimportance. False because it's actually you just carrying out your responsibility and the dependent spouse is bringing something equally as important to the table. But nope. A lot of men will not see it this way. Most men will claim to see the importance of the woman's task at first, and some of them even genuinely do. But the temptation to bend to the God complex becomes pretty strong down the line. And I think most people underestimate and underappreciate their housewife. Like, dude, the housewife, nine times out of ten, is the one running shit. Let me tell you something about men and women. Men, because of their traditional protector-provider traits, are inclined to be more adventurous and explorative than women. The downside to that is it becomes very easy to be individualistic and use other people like objects. Women, on the other hand, are typically more safe and stable in their thinking. Comfort and security are the most sought after things. As a result, it becomes very easy to be lazy brained and settle. That's why I always advocate for teaching boys self-control and teaching girls self-worth. Yes. Feminists' intentions may be ill, misguided, and coming from a place of being triggered by women choosing to still be feminine after their efforts to normalize an unnatural dynamic between men and women. But somewhere buried deep down under, they have a shiny good point. Trad wife could work, but it has also failed woefully on practically every continent. As a Nigerian, I can proudly tell you that my people have good traditional values, but I know for a fact that years from now, the traditional wife dynamic will be all but gone. Not because of any Western ideology, but because of how girls have seen what monsters it turns their fathers into and what shit accepting simps it turns their mothers into. Conservatives tend to put these things on a pedestal based on its potential to work, given you have two virtuous people in the marriage, but not on the actual practicality of it. It's great that you're virtuous and all, but look around you, bloody hell. We have proof of what money turns even the best of men into. The top 1% of men playing around with multiple women is literally an endless talking point on YouTube. They leverage their access because they can. I mean, why aren't the majority of them choosing not to treat women as objects for pleasure? Furthermore, men subconsciously find it easier to underestimate these points I'm making because it's women who bear most of the risk if things go south. The said woman is at the mercy of the said man. Just like pregnancy, a man could completely remove himself, but a woman must go through it. Even if you get an abortion, you're still going to go through stuff physically. Check out this tweet by Matt Walsh. All a man wants is to come home from a long day at work to a grateful wife and children who are glad to see him and dinner cooking on the stove. This is literally all it takes to make a man happy. We are simple, give us this and you have given us nearly everything we need. This is so false and underplayed, but that's a topic for another day. So let's say it's reasonable for the sake of today. He talks about what men want, not what they need. 
Men and women need a relationship structure that fosters fairness for both genders. And I cannot in good conscience endorse a system we have proof often falls short of that. I am curious though, what system you, my viewers, recommend that may work better than the stay at home trad wife thing? Sound off below in the comments. My name is Dio and thank you for watching. You there! If you enjoyed this clip, I bet you'd like the food even better. Go on and click over there to watch that. And don't forget to subscribe. Much love.